What's up guys, you all 14 here, coming at you with a video game review, the first of like, uh, it's kind of, um, planning on doing three of these over the next few days. Um, and, uh, it's been, um, uh, it's been, I mean, I've played these, I'm playing these games for a little bit now, and I figured I might as well talk about them, kind of weird that I haven't talked about at least two of them, which I haven't, which I've been playing for a long time. Um, anyway, the video game we're talking about today is Star Wars Unleashed, and we'll say spoilers for the plot of the game in case people are into that and stuff. Like, if you haven't played it and want to, like, like, um, uh, no, find out the plot throughout the game, I wouldn't recommend, uh, watching this because there will be spoilers. Anyway, uh, getting started, the game overall is a great concept, just having, uh, Darth Vader have a secret appren apprentice he's training, so he and, um, him and the apprentice, um, can take down the Emperor eventually. Like, that concept is great, and just his whole backstory and how he was raised on the dark side. And then eventually he was brought to the light side. I mean, I think that's just um, a really great story. Um, let's see. Um, I'm really upset that Disney took over Star Wars and then made Star Wars at least not canon, because Starkiller is amazing. Um, and his whole, like, story and arc is great. Um, yeah. So, yeah, I'm kind of upset about that. Um, <clears throat> Rom code is cool. It kind of, like, has, like, the sassy... A sassy, um, sharp tongued <laughs> general who's kind of like sort of like a mentor to Starkiller, but not, but Starkiller is still independent enough to like not really rely on his mentorship, and it's, he's pretty cool. Um, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> mm. Um, and, uh, one thing I didn't get though, just in the plot, was why when, um, I mean, obviously the beginning would have been too short of this happen, I guess, but. Why, when um, Sidious found Sarko and Vader together, Vader didn't just like, you know, go after Sidious, um, uh, with, uh, team up on Sidious with the help of Starkiller, because he uh, presumably passed all the tests after he killed Shaq T, so like, why wouldn't he at least try to take the Emperor down? Um, I guess he, wa he wanted to surprise the Emperor, so the Emperor surprised him. I just thought that was weird. Um, anyway, um, yeah, I just didn't understand that, but it was still, it's still a great story overall. Um, I will say the final, uh, fight scene for the light side ending, um, where you fight the Emperor is pretty cool. Um, especially, like, the same max sequence right after where, um, you know, uh, Starkiller, I don't know the exact name of the ability, but he catches the Force Lightning with his hands, and, um, and, uh, and then, like, kind of pushes towards the Emperor, and then there's an explosion, and he dies, but, um, uh, but, uh, the Emperor was, but he allows his friends, uh, the rest of, uh, the leaders of Rebellion to get away. I think it was pretty cool that they have him as one, as one of the reasons for starting the Rebellion. Um, I think that's pretty cool. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. Oh, look at my notes again. Um, the giant bosses were cool. I mean, Brown Coda was pretty awesome. Um, Cast and Paratus was kind of nuts, but, like, I mean, just the whole, that whole world of Rax Raxus Prime was pretty cool to play on, fighting, like, I don't even know their name. I think it's Trandoshan, the Trandoshan um, mercenaries and the force droids and all that. I think that was pretty cool. Um, yeah, so that, I like that. Um, Shakti and Felucia were cool. Cool. Um, what else? Uh, I liked, and yeah, something I did like, um, like, and think I thought was, at least for me, was the most difficult part of the game, was you have to, have to bring the Star Destroyer down over Raxus Prime and just how you just have to hang in there and bring it down for a long period of time. And, um, and, uh, and, um, yeah, that, I thought that was really cool and just an awesome force beat for Star Killer overall. Um, what else? Um, so that was my favorite part of the game. Well, not favorite part of the game, but the most difficult part. My favorite part was, like, the final battle with the Emperor. Um, I did like how they get a little Easter egg on Raxus Prime where, um, uh, Proxy used. Dark, uh, a module of uh, Darth Maul, one that he never shown Starkiller for. I like that shout out, especially since Starkiller and Darth Maul are my uh, two favorite um, Star Wars characters. Um, so that was cool. Um, uh, the gameplay itself was, um, I mean, overall, I think it was fine. Um, it was just like, sometimes you have to have specific stuff to happen. Like, for example, like when you're finishing up a boss, like if they're not standing up, you have to wait for them to stand up before hitting. For, before hitting the uh, finishing move, and um, and uh, just little like uh, glitchy stuff like that. But I mean, overall the game was great. Force Creeper and Force Repulse are uh, are just absolutely amazing. Um, I will say um, I'll be doing review on the sequel later. But um, I will say that I used uh, Force Grip a lot in both games. But I, 
I wanted them to use Enforced Repulse a lot more in the second game, and I probably should have done it in the first game, because it's just amazing to be able to knock all your enemies away and stuff like that. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. Um, oh yeah, and then, you know, just to include, great game, awesome game. I'm we'll giving it a 9 out of 10 just because it's little technical glitches and small plot flaws, but overall it's awesome. And um, Starkiller is my second favorite Star Wars character, first one being Darth Maul. So um, it was a great game overall, and if um, I know it's a um, it's a 360 game, so if you have the Xbox One, I know you can't play it, but if you have a 360, I would recommend getting it if you haven't yet, because it's an awesome game, um, for sure. Yeah, and other than that, thanks for watching, guys. If you like, comment, subscribe, want to go to channel as quickly as possible. Links will be in the description below the various players I made with um, Yu-Gi-Oh! Um, Yu-Gi-Oh! Ranked and Unranked Matches, Deck Profiles, dis General Discussion Videos, and Reviews of TV Shows, Movies, and Video Games, and stuff like that. Um, yeah, those link links will be in the description below, and thank you for to the 9 people who have already subscribed. Um, and um, that's all I can think of for now. So yeah, thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you all next time. Have a good day.